Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here is a look at the top stories we're following today. Calls for gun reform. Michigan students speaking out about the devastating impacts of gun violence. Many want reforms that include universal background checks, secure storage of firearms, and extreme risk protection orders. Supporters of gun safety and gun rights will rally for much of the day today at the Capitol when the Senate is expected to vote on legislation. An explosive fire that destroyed a concrete business is now under investigation. This is an update to breaking news we brought to you Tuesday. This happened Monday night, though, at Rock Solid Concrete in Flushing. There were propane takes and hydraulic oil inside, which was eventually reduced to rubble. No injuries were reported, but damage is estimated at $1.5 million. And Midland's Downtown Development Authority wants to redevelop the city's riverfront, providing areas to walk, sit, and to enjoy concerts. It's a $14 million proposal that calls for making the space usable all year round with the addition of lights for at night and a track that can become an ice skating rink. We have Matthew here now tracking out the latest in your forecast. Thank you, Blake. For today, we're starting off on a chilly note, but clear skies and dry weather that will allow a lot of sunshine for today. We eventually make our way back to around 43 for this afternoon. Could be even 46 down in Flint. Your hour by hour for today just shows that sunshine, a few high clouds during the afternoon into tonight. Night turning mostly cloudy, but we're still largely dry through tonight and your Thursday morning. It is by Thursday evening where we see more rainfall starting to return to the area. This will be a widespread rain through Thursday evening, Thursday night, and even Friday morning. Should see a few snow showers on the backside of that rain by Friday afternoon, but very brief with that snow and with temperatures in the 40s for the rest of the week, not expecting any accumulations out of that. Rainfall totals will range between a half of an inch to an inch. The higher totals north, lower totals to the south. If we come in below a half of an inch, that could just be from the dry slot on, th on uh, Friday and moving in a little bit quicker or earlier in the daytime. But we also expect it to turn windy on Friday. Wind gusts right up to around 40 miles per hour in the afternoon. That'll be from the west on your Friday. So again, afternoon hours, that's going to be the strongest wind. Once we head over into your Friday night, wind gusts will start to slow back down below 30 miles per hour. We're briefly cooler as we head into the weekend. High of 31 on Saturday, 38 though on Sunday and we'll start to see decreasing clouds with the sun returning on Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday of next week. More sunshine temperatures back to the 40s as we start off spring. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.